What's up, YouTube man? It's your boy Vortex 2K man back with another banger video. In today's video, we have the best three builds in NBA 2K21 current gen. So the first build I'm gonna show you guys is my normal build, the build I made day one. And then I'm gonna show y'all the next build I'm gonna show y'all is the build that I made day one but improved. And then the last build is gonna be a build for rep. Okay, so this build is just to win games, like I do good in stage, win games in park, just have a nice win percentage, just the best build for a center. But if you care about rep, that'll be my third build in this video. So I'm going to show you right here. So this is the first build I've made. I made a balanced pie chart. This is what I did. I did balanced, and then I maxed all this out, maxed all the finish in besides post hook, because we don't do post hooks, and post hooks are also patched now. Not through point. I also upgraded the mid range to a 61. And the reason I changed, what I changed in my next build, you'll see, but let me do the defense first. I did the rest on playmaking, but we had defense all, everything up, everything up, got to lower the steal. And then the rest I put on playmaking, I'm pretty sure I had four. I did pass accuracy. So I'm at two and then four, yep, just like that. And then you got three extra, just like that. You could put it on wherever, three point. I wouldn't do three point. Do, I'd probably do steal. That's what I actually did in my video at this deal in the first one. And then I went Burley. 6'8. Six, 6'8 eight. Six, is the best height for all three of the builds. They're gonna be all 6'8. Six, eight. Six, eight. And then I went max weight. So this is what I did for the first build. This is my first ever build. And I went max weight span, obviously. And yeah, so I got 80 speed, 91 vertical, 100, well, 99 strength at gym rat and all that. 78 acceleration. So you're pretty set with this, but the build I'm gonna show next. Which, this is why I sped through this one because I think the next build's even better than this build. But this build I made day one, so if you want my day one build, that's it. So the next build is the same pie chart, red. But what we do here is we are doing speed and vertical. So it's a purple and pink right here, the second and last one down, right there. And you have the same amount of speed, but you just get more vertical compared to the balance pie chart. Did I choose balance by accident? No, no, I did it right. I'm tripping. I am tripping. The strength looked higher, I don't know why, All right, but same same attributes here, same attributes, but instead of mid-range, mid-range shooting got patched. Day one, I was able to shoot really good with it, but now you can't really shoot good because they like patch shooting and everything, so you just got to get six playmaking badges instead. Lower this until you're down to six, just like that, because we don't really do post moves, but everything else is on the defense then. I'm going to do all this, 30 defense, same exact badge count, you just get two extra playmaking this time and a higher steal so that got but if you want more finishing instead of putting down a steal you could probably get like you could get one more right there you maybe do this and then the three steal again but it doesn't really matter i think 16 is fine for finishing so i'm just gonna go with this so this is the best build in the game right here so basically what we're gonna do is really six eight instead of the weight all the way up look you gotta hire the weight all the way up all the way until the acceleration goes up so 190 you got a 97 vertical at with gym rat, a 90 speed, 88 acceleration, and a 60 strength. Strength does not really matter. That's why my build is kind of worse. The, my build I made day one, but this is the best build. You could do really good like threes, twos, everywhere you go. You're gonna be super fast. You can be the guard guards. You're gonna be able to do everything. I'm pretty sure this is the blah build. Like this is the build that blah makes, and then like his build blew up. But this is the best center build in the game if you want to center, and then. If you would like play for wins, that's the best center build. But if you guys want rep, I'm gonna show you guys the best rep build right here. So what you want to do is you go the blue and red. Because for rep, if you're blue and you catch lobs, the rep is so much higher. And that's basically how you rep from this game, you just catch lobs. It's like 2k20. If you know how 2k20 rep system is, that's basically how it is. But we're going with the same same uh, physical profile. I think that's the best profile in the game for the bigs. Because strength really does not matter. I mean, maybe you get brick wall screens better with strength, but not really. But look, you get 23 finishing. You get 13 playmaking. I'm going to lower it down a little just to get 13. And then the rest on the defense. And it's like 20 something too on the defense. So now we get 22. Let me see. I want to see the max finishing you could get. So I mean, max defense. I'm just lowering this, but I'm not actually going to do it. So you could get 23, but. It's not worth that much steel to just go up one defensive edge. 22 is fine. You can live with 22. So I'm going to go down all the way over here, back where it was. Put the finish in. You can go with 24 finishing if you want, or you could just go with the steel up. 
My preference would be another finishing badge, I guess. But it honestly does not matter. It's just whatever you want to do. I'll just do steel, just in case, get some maybe steels. But the vertical, you get a 92 vertical. Wait, let me show the, the weight first. 6'8", so I'm even faster. And then you go, once the speed goes down, so 187, you get an 89 speed, 86 acceleration, 97 vertical again, which is crazy. And then you get a 59 strength. So this build is great for rep. That's a rep build in the game. I still think the other build is better for um, to win games, but you can still easily win games with this build. This build could be the exact same. I'm pretty sure this build is called Glass Cleaner Finisher though. And the strength does get lower because I've maxed out the thing. So it's really 58 instead of 59. But you can also get slash and take with it. So maybe if you're really like slashing, you get slash and take. The other two, I would go with Rim Protector. Rim Protector is probably the best for the other two because you can't even get slasher on the other two. But for this one, maybe go with slasher. I might make this build later if I want to play current gen a lot more. But it's a glass cleaner finisher. Really good build. And yeah. Alright y'all, so now I'm going to show you the badges I would use for this build, because this is the build that probably most people would want, because most people probably care about rep, so. I'm going to show y'all badges. Alright y'all, with the badges, the finishing, you obviously got to go Hall of Fame 50 footwork, Hall of Fame posterizer, wherever that is. Where's, where's post? Oh, contact finisher. I'm thinking this is 2k20, but no, I'm tripping. And you go, if you're playing threes, Hall of Fame Showtime is really good because it boosts your takeover after like highlight plays, like after a dunk. Do like Silver Lob City Finisher, Contact Finisher, Hall of Fame. I'm tripping. I put that on consistent. Y'all didn't see that. Relentless Finisher, Giant Slayer is pretty good. So they finish is also good. So I'd probably go like this, make them all gold. Or actually, I'd just do this. Yeah. That's a finishing badge lay over here. Use the best. I mean, you could change it up. You don't gotta copy me exactly, but definitely use Fancy Folk with a Fuse Contact Finisher. Showtime's pretty good, like on threes. Twos really doesn't matter. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the finishing. Shooting, that does not matter at all. Maybe Hot Zone Hunter, maybe because, like, in the paint, Hot Zones. I don't even know if it works there. I don't know, but for f playmaking, you definitely want gold. Quick first step. Definitely at least Bronze Bailout. Gold and Pluckable would be nice. Like, this build's actually really good. I might actually make this build. Needle Threader, maybe. Like, there's just... Maybe Lob City Finisher. Flashy Passer, get your teammates takeover up. Or you could use Break Starter if you're playing, like, Wreck or... Or, uh, Threes or whatever. But, that's pretty much it for the playmaking. And then defense is where it's gonna be important. If your teammate uses screens, definitely use Hall of Fame Rip Wall. If they don't use screens, it'll be, like, Silver. Like, if they use it a little bit. But, Rebound Chaser, definitely Hall of Fame. Rim Protector, Hall of Fame. Um, Interceptor is pretty good on threes. Chase Down Artist is good. Clamps. Intimidator is really good. I forgot about Intimidator in this game. That's really good. Heart Crusher is also pretty good. Pogo Sticks is really good too. I'll probably go with this. Um, at least like silver. I'm just gonna get rid of Brick Welcome. Actually, no, nah, I'm gonna put it Hall of Fame. People, a lot of people use screens in this game, so you're gonna definitely need it at least on Hall of Fame. But. Uh, Chase on Artist Bronze is worthless, but basically these are the badges, whatever badges you like the best, but definitely go with the ones I'm covering right now. These are the ones that are good. Everything else are, are not that good, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. Box is uh, alright, and Intercept is pretty good too, depending on what mode you're playing. Like twos, maybe bronze, threes, like silver or gold. But yeah, this is not the badge layout, obviously, but I'm just showing you, like, use those badges that are covered in some way. Do not use, like... Let's see, do not use off-ball pests. Do not use worm, I guess, at most bronze. Um, Yeah, that's pretty much it. If you're playing ones, obviously, like, put on post mode lockdown moving truck, just in case post scores. Even though I think they got patched a little, but still, just in case. Alright, that's the end of the video. If you guys did enjoy, hit the sub button. Hit the like button. I'm out. Peace.